During this uh, pandemic, there's been one group of people who have been putting their lives on the line time and time again. They've been sacrificing their own safety and they've been providing us New Yorkers some great help. We, we, in, the ep we in the epicenter of this COVID crisis really have been appreciating our healthcare workers and first responders every night by opening up our doors and our windows and clapping and banging pots and pans to tell them how much we appreciate them. Hi, I'm Andrew Geloza from the Estate Planning and Elder Law Group. Several weeks ago, I uh, made an offer to give to healthcare uh, uh, responders and healthcare workers and first responders access to free or no, my fee waived healthcare proxies and powers of attorney. I just want to talk to you a little bit about that offer because maybe people didn't understand it. Although I got a lot of accolades for doing it, I didn't get any takers. So I really mean very seriously, I'm offering you healthcare, pro healthcare responders and, and, uh, and, uh, first, for, and healthcare personnel and first responders. I'm offering all of you, not just your printed off the internet power of attorney, not just your printed off the internet healthcare proxy, I'm talking about one done by an estate planning, an elder law, estate planning and elder law attorney that's going to give whom you choose, the person you know, love, and trust, to tell them about all of your wishes. If something bad happens to you, it's going to give them those powers to do whatever they need to do to help you because it's designed to help people who need estate planning issues dealt with. Many times people come to me and they say, Grandma has started to lose her ability to comprehend things. She has this house and we're concerned that we're gonna lose that asset over the cost it's gonna cost for long-term care she's going to need. And I say to them, well, is she competent at this point? And they say, not really. But the bottom line is, is I say to them, let me see your power of attorney because if you don't have a power of attorney, there's nothing that we can do for you really because we need to get a guardian appointed to help take care of you. We'll talk about that in another, issue, in another segment. But with a power of attorney that we will prepare, it will allow you to do all that you would need to do for your grandparent, yourself, anyone, so that if something happens and you need to get some kind of care, you need to have arrangements made, need to have assets moved so that we can qualify you for government benefits, the power of attorney will allow you to do that. In addition, a healthcare proxy with a HIPAA release and other directions for what you want to happen will hopefully stave off the problems that so many others experienced when they went into hospitals during COVID. If you want to find out more, our information is at the end of this video, and I'm happy to speak to you about this or any of your other estate planning or elder law needs. Andrew Geloza, the Estate Planning and Elder Law Group.